All right, rock on. It's filming. Who's going to film? All right, so what are we doing here now? Cylinder leak down test. The car failed a cylinder leak down test. The compression tests were good. They were all 220 pounds, somewhere around mm -hmm. there across the board, all even. Failed a cylinder leakage test when we did the cylinder leakage test. Mm -hmm. Cylinders were at, uh, I want to say 12, 20, and 22, something like that. And this one was 35 to 40% leak rate. Mm -hmm. Higher leak rate, still green by the gauge. When we have a cylinder leakage, we want to figure out where it's coming from. Right. So as we are testing, it's normally going to come out the intake, if it's an intake valve issue, the exhaust pipe, if it's an exhaust pipe issue, or out the crankcase, if we have a sealing issue because of the rings. While I'm doing this test, we also had an overheating issue with the car. Out of curiosity, I put a rubber glove over top of the, where'd the I put a rubber glove over top of the uh, radiator cap. So we're introducing air into the cylinder while I'm checking for the leak points. Not a common leak point, but because the car is trying to wave at us now, it is uh, indicative that I'm actually increasing pressure in the cooling system. And the only way that's going to happen is because of either a cracked cylinder head or a leaking head gasket, or in a very rare case, maybe something with the combustion chamber. But more than likely, it's a uh, cracked cylinder head or leaking head gasket. So that's, that's, you're probably not going to find a glove on top of that in a, any textbooks, but it works, this works very well for finding discrete air leaks. I've done it on, a, on different applications. You could do the same thing up here if you thought you had a discrete air leak coming up here. It's hard to seal that, but on a sealed system like the, this, it's very easy to seal that off and hook that up. And we can uh, use that to see if I have a discrete air leak coming through the the, the, uh, the and this this would give you if I were to take a uh, hydrocarbon tester the chemical that changes color it would change color we don't even have to do that because we already know that we have combustion gases can get into the cooling system okay.